moving across. The slow moving system which has plagued the southeast with rain is finding new ground to menace today after days of nice weather. You'll be pulling out your umbrellas today in the northeast and the mid-Atlantic regions. Good morning. I'm Marshall Cease. And good morning. I'm Cheryl Lemke and welcome to Weather Center. So here's what you can expect. The rain will become increasingly heavy today in Philadelphia. New York City is already seeing some widely scattered showers this morning, so plan on more wet conditions the rest of the day. Fog, though, is slowing you down this morning This for the commute in Atlanta, and Dallas will remain partly cloudy today. And now with more details, here's Marshall. The clouds in the northeast, you know that if you're in the northeast and you're looking out your window saying this looks like one of those gray gloomy Fridays and indeed it is. We have a lot of scattered showers in the area, more of a nuisance if you're going to be out traveling about, you've got to make sure those windshield wipers are working and you've got the fluid in the uh, old wiper can too because you're going to be, it's just not enough rain to take care of it in and of itself. If you're driving the throughway out to Buffalo or Rochester, you'll encounter rain. Rain in waves will be moving northward as they wrap around the big system out west of us. Meanwhile, north of Philadelphia, some scattered light rain showers. Now, you'll get some of those activities in. If you're going to go out and play hooky this afternoon and try to get in a round of golf, you might be able to do that. It's going to be kind of soggy, but still in all, we're not expecting heavy rain here, just scattered rain showers. This low is the culprit for North Carolina. If you're in Norfolk right now, you're getting some heavy rain falling outside your window, and it's all because of that surface low, which is headed out to sea. But we've got another front that's going to be crossing our area later this afternoon, and that's going to present some problems of its own. It's 63 in New York this morning, 60 in Philadelphia, 62 degrees in Boston, Washington, D.C., 62 degrees this morning, and it looks like a blanket of clouds for the rest of our day today. So a blanket of clouds out in western Tennessee and northern Mississippi, and a plume of clouds down here in Louisiana headed across toward Mississippi. That was a severe thunderstorm as it moved through Bienville Parish earlier this morning, and we had some severe cells in Georgia that moved over into South Carolina. They were hearing the rumble of thunder this morning with drizzle and they were hearing the rumble of thunder in fog out in western Virginia and western North Carolina and when you awakened this morning after the overnight rains in Atlanta you encountered some very dense fog. Take a look at this quarter of a mile visibility that's what you found in Atlanta. Pea soup conditions you had to deal with this morning. Good news is now visibility is up to about two miles. At one point though they were below a quarter of a mile and that made for some slow going during the commute. 
The front is headed to the east, though. It's going to head toward the mid-Atlantic coastline today, and we'll see some clearing conditions in Mississippi, Alabama, and Georgia. Currently, it's 57 degrees in Atlanta, 64 at Charleston, Jacksonville, 67 degrees. And as the front moves across Florida later this afternoon, there is a chance for some scattered thunderstorms for you. How about the upper Midwest? What's that look like, Cheryl? Well, there's also rain this morning in the northern plains and in parts of the Midwest. And later on today, those of you in the central plains states will also have some wet weather to contend with. So as we take a look at the latest surface map, you can see how rain will not only be a nuisance, but fog too. This morning, we've had so much thick fog out there that dense fog advisories have been posted. Visibilities are especially poor around Manhattan, Kansas, with visibilities close to a quarter of a mile. Even worse, though, for Ottumwa, Iowa, and on into extreme northern sections of Illinois, where in some places we have visibilities hovering very close to zero. So. It's going to be a slow go for a lot of you this morning. Now, as Marshall was mentioning, one of our main storm systems is a slow that's taking its good old sweet time as it churns across the Ohio Valley. It's been spreading some rains across the Great Lakes this morning. And at the same time, we have another player, another cold front dropping down from Canada. And this one, too, has been sparking off some showers this morning. The radar picture indicating that we have the clouds and the moisture flowing in across the area. So a very, very unsettled weather pattern. And this will likely be persisting for the next next couple of days or so. So uh, definitely a time for the umbrellas and the rain slickers as the moisture continues to pull in. You can see the rain right now right around Detroit. There's been some rain right around Pontiac and Sterling Heights this morning. Be careful if you're driving into work or school this morning. Rains too up through Saginaw Bay, up towards Traverse City. Rains curling over towards Green Bay and Sturgeon Bay. We've had some rains too clipping right across Milwaukee. Chicago though, you still have mostly cloudy skies. You can see some showers though kind of percolating just to your south. Some of that moisture will start to seep northward in the next few hours or so, so be careful, especially around Chicago Heights and around Tinley Park. You'll be picking up some rains very shortly. Elsewhere, though, for temperatures, still a little bit on the cool side. Besides the umbrellas, it looks like a heavier jacket or a sweater would be a must this morning with 40s and 50s. Come this afternoon, though, temperatures recovering back into the 60s, 70s, even a few 80s. And let's take a look at the forecast then. For later this afternoon, we watch our low around the Ohio Valley. That will start to slowly ease its way to the north and the east. And the rains will be quite substantial, we think, over parts of the mid-Atlantic. Some really soaking downpours will be likely as that moisture gets drawn in from off the Atlantic. Especially hard hit today, probably those of you in New York City, Philadelphia, Richmond, Virginia, Norfolk. You'll be seeing some pretty significant rains, we think, lasting for a good part of the afternoon. More rains, too, start to develop across the heartland. Although most of it will stay to the west of Minneapolis, there is a chance that you might pick up a scattered shower or two, certainly by later on tonight. Fair skies, though, through Dallas. Center, all day today and every day. In the next half hour, Weather Center AM, a comprehensive national forecast. At 40 after, Weather Center AM continues with highway and air travel conditions, then the weekend outlook, and at 50 after, storm watch. But right now, it's your local forecast on the Weather Channel.
Well, a storm system is spreading rain into the northeast and the mid-Atlantic regions this morning. And that's bringing an end to the pleasant weather you've been enjoying across the region. Hello, I'm Vivian Brown, and welcome to Weather Center, sponsored by Husqvarna. And I'm Bruce Edwards. Now, in addition, that system also continues to produce some wet weather in parts of the Midwest and the Deep South. But also today, Denver is partly cloudy. But you could see some showers later on today. Tampa will be partly cloudy and another warm day. St. Louis seeing some light rain showers from that system that's spreading rain into the northeast. In Boston, you'll see some showers later today from that very same system. Satellite picture cranks up and so does that low, but it doesn't move. That's the big headache with this system cut off from the main circulation and the main flow of the jet stream. It just sits and spins and then gradually meanders. There is the center of the low, but it's pushed out a lot of moisture in the canopy of rain. Well,